Bits, a place to learn to be creative thinkers. I'm your host, Zoe Brown. During this Bedtime Book Adventures, we will learn to believe in yourself before anything in The Message in the Mirror. Written by Katrina Denise. Illustrated by Fanny Liam. Ooh, the author gave us a little note. Two, Zoe and Alani Brown. Always believe in the power of you. Katrina Denise. Aw, so nice. The message in the mirror. The Here's the dedication page. This book is dedicated to my children who have inspired me to write. Mommy loves you, Jordan and Aria. I also want to thank my parents, family, friends, and former students who, who have encouraged me to believe in myself and write stories about self-love and following your dreams. Your support has helped me to look in the mirror and see a window of opportunity. No one loves me, though I'm kind. I'll never be pretty or divine. Popular will I ever be? Oh, mirror, please tell me. These were the words Aria said each day as she looked in the mirror, like the witch from her favorite story, Snow White. Snow White. Aria would sit in front of the mirror, wishing as, that, as the witch did, that she would be the prettiest and most liked girl. Yet each time she went to the mirror, the only images she could see along the sides were, the, were of others who teased her or who were more popular. There was also a hazy image in the center of the mirror that she couldn't quite make out. Arya always wondered who or what it might be. day, while in the school lunchroom, Aria was tripped by Nat Natalia, one of the prettiest and snobbiest girls in the school. Everyone laughed as Aria's food dripped on her clothes. Natalia laughed as she said, that girl is such a nerd. No, said Felicia, Felicia, Natalia's best friend. She's just plain old ugly. Look at her glasses and old clothes. The girls often taunted and teased Aria. Even though they got in trouble, it did a little for Aria, whose feelings had already been bruised. That night, when Aria got home, once again she stood in front of the mirror and said, No one loves me, though I'm kind. I'll never be pretty or divine. Popular will I ever be? Oh, mirror, please tell me. Her hope was that the mirror would tell her that she was special or that she was pretty, but it didn't say or show anything except the faces of Natalia and Felicia and a fuzzy image in the mirror. The next day at school was no better than the previous day. Although Aria was a present and pleasant and friendly girl, there were a few classmates that she struggled to tolerate. Unfortunately, Albert, the class clown and prankster, was one of them. Ariel usually tried to step away from him, stay away from him. Albert secret had, secretly had a crush on her, and the fact that she ignored him only made him mad. So to get back at her, he just made fun of her instead. On this particular day, Albert not only threw paper at Aria, but he placed gum on her chair. Poor Aria walked around completely unaware of the gun stuck to her jeans. The other kids made fun of her behind her back until finally someone told her what happened. Embarrassed, she ran down the hall crying. That afternoon, Aria sat before the mirror once more and said, No one loves me, though I'm kind. I'll never be pretty or divine. Popular will I ever be? Oh, mirror, please tell me. Aria soon went to sleep, 
wishing that she could simply escape it all. The following week at school, Ari's teacher, Mrs. Coles, passed out papers to the class and announced that she received the highest score on a test. Ario thought to herself, now here's something else for everyone to tease me about. I don't like being smart, shouted Aria. Miss Co Mrs. Coles didn't understand and asked Aria to stay after class. After class, Mrs. Coles asked Aria, what seems to be the problem? Aria replied, nothing in a solemn voice. There must be something wrong because you look so upset even after hearing such great news, expressed Mrs. Coles. Aria cried. Everyone teases me for being smarter for the way that I look. Her teacher said, Aria, being smart makes you special and it shows you have learned a lot. Ignore the comments of others and know that as long as you believe in yourself, you will always be beautiful and smart. Me? Smart and beautiful? Aria thought to herself as if surprised to know that her teacher felt that way. In her mind, she wanted to be all of those things, yet somehow she doubted that could be ever, that could be ever true. Mrs. Cole, do you really mean what you said about me being beautiful and smart? Aria asked cautiously. Why, certainly, said Mrs. Cole. You are also much cooler than all those kids who tease you. It is never okay to put others down or tease them. Aria, your beauty shines even brighter in the fact that you never treat others the same uh, the way the same uh, they would treat you. As Aria walked home, she smiled, as if she finally started to believe what her teacher said that her beauty existed in many ways. Now she knew that being smart would allow her to be anything she wanted in life. At home that evening, Aria went back to the mirror once again, hoping that it might say that she was pretty or popular. Again, she saw only the faces of those who teased her. Natalia, Felicia, and Albert, and that fuzzy image in the middle that she could not seem to figure out. As she stared at the image, the mirror began to shake, and the fuzzy pi picture became clear. Then the mirror finally answered and said, Aria, you are both pretty and popular, and you have been for some time. The problem was that you never believed it. Aria listened attentively, for she finally knew that the mirror was right. Aria, said the mirror, true beauty comes from the inside and is not about who you and it is about who you truly are. You are exactly what your teacher said, beautiful and smart. When Aria went to bed that night, her dreams were a little different. She didn't dream about being rescued or trying to escape her problems. She rested comfortably, knowing that the message in the mirror was true. She was truly beautiful, and no one could ever change it. Oh, look! Here's an author's note. Many children struggle with their self-esteem and self-worth. My hope is that young readers understand that each person is unique and that there is enough room for each of us to shine. Some of life's greatest lessons show us that we have always had wings. By Katrina Denise. The end. That was a great book to, um, to learn that you always have beauty inside. Before we go, I want to rate this book with my Bedtime Book Adventures 7 Point Checklist. Number one, does the cover of the book catch your eye? 
Yes, it does, because a girl staring into the mirror with a happy face is like super happy. Is super happy too. Number two, are the characters relatable? Yes, they are, because sometimes some kids are teased because of how they look and that they are smart. Number three, is there a problem? The problem is Arya didn't believe that she was beautiful, popular, or smart. Number four, is there a solution? The solution is that her teacher told her that she is all of those things, and her mirror told her too. Number five, is the book interesting? Yes, the book is interesting. Number six, do the illustrations pop? Yes, they do because when she, when it said the hazy image, it actually looked like a hazy image, like a little small blur. And when she was thinking about what she could be, it had all those illustrations about it. Of what she thought she could be. Number seven. Is there a clear theme? Yes. The clear theme is that you will, you should always believe in yourself. I'll see you next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central for Kid Bits with Zoe Brown Bedtime Book Adventures. Good night.